All right, so are you wondering how to keep your kidneys healthy? Kidneys are pretty important, right? Stay tuned, and Dr. Serrano is here with me, and we're going to talk about that. Okay, well, John, I'm glad you asked me about kidneys. You know, I never thought about this. Most people that come to my office ask me, hey, I'm eating a high protein diet. Do you think that's gonna damage my kidneys? That is absolutely one of the biggest myths out there. Now, if you tell me you have diabetes and your sugars are high and you have kidney damage, can protein make my levels of creatinine or my kidney damage worse? Very hard to do still. It can possibly do it, but it's very hard. You need to consume 300, 400 grams of excess of protein. So don't be scared. Now, people come to me when they are in dialysis, that means they have kidney damage already. They said, sure, I eat protein. Your kidneys are already gone. Now it doesn't matter. So eat as much protein as you want. But I have never seen a person that has severe, severe, you know, diabetes eating a huge high protein diet because usually they're eating sugars, sugars. carbohydrates. So you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, I would say watch out for the amount of protein you have kidney damage. And the only way to find out is doing the CMP that John talked about. Number two, one of the most important things is hydration. Hydration, hydration, hydration. I cannot tell how important that is, especially if you are out there practicing football. You're on the cold weather and you think, hey, I'm not sweating, I'm okay. No, you're getting dehydrated worse than when you're on the sun. Because when you're on the sun, you know you're dehydrated, you need to go drink. Also, in the wintertime, you don't know you're getting dehydrated and you keep waiting and waiting. That's when you get to get more hydrated. So be aware of those two things. Now, John, I know you're going to bring a third one. And what was the third one that you're going to bring to us about the kidneys? Remember? Well, I mean, so, um, so two things. I, first, the first thing that came to my mind was the hydration because being involved with uh, the sport I'm involved with, with bodybuilding, there's a lot of people who use diuretics. And that is correct. Um, not a good idea. Now, the dehydration, th let me just say this. There's a, there are several competitors through the years, many, that have kidney problems because of the excessive dehydration. Every year, I get a few emails from people One, that got put th in the hospital. There's somebody who's going to be in the hospital. They're in the hospital Saturday night or Sunday morning from dehydration. And listen, listen, I'm as guilty as anybody. You know, I tried every diuretic you can possibly try through the years, but eventually I wisened up and figured not only was it not healthy, it wasn't even needed. Um, so one of the first things I always think about is just hydration and how easy is that for somebody? I mean, you simply just drink more. Um, and when people come to me with blood work, a lot of times, you know, we'll look at their BUN or their creatinine. And if it's a little elevated, I'll just say, okay, let's add a liter of water or two liters of water. And then they get a retested four weeks later and it's totally normal. Absolutely. So I always felt like dehydration was, um, was a really, was a really big one. And then the other thing is, um, you see this more than I do, but people who are in kind of headed into diabetes and there's yes. a lot of, when somebody, when somebody's headed in that direction, they're not managing their insulin levels and blood sugar. Um, we do know that you can have massive kidney damage from that. So I think the lesson there for our, our people watching is pay attention to your blood sugars, your insulin levels and all that, because that can also harm your kidneys. That will do more damage than a protein diet, actually. Yeah, high actually protein. more. So if you're worried about high protein, you actually forget that and worry more about excessive sugars and sugars and pounding your body with tons and tons of sugar. Um, so I think, you know, I think people are looking for a really big complicated answer on kidneys when the reality is your kidneys, if you're staying hydrated and you're, and you're eating a pretty normal diet, it's pretty rare for people to just randomly have kidney problems. I think. Absolutely. And you know what? One of the biggest, biggest guilty parties of this is medications that cause the most of the problems with kidney damage. And actually the biggest ones are anti-inflammatories. People take a leaf, ibuprofen over the counter every day, three or four or five times because they have an ache or pain. That actually affects your kidneys more than protein diets. Well, so and I remember getting ready for one particular show when I, I was taking some ibuprofen, which I normally don't do. I will like fight it to not take it, but I was so beat up. This was like the fourth I, show I'd done in a year. I, I was so beat that. up. And then I go get my blood work done and all of a sudden the readings were off the chart. Beyond and I was like, high. what in the world happened? 
So we talked about this, and I remember I just simply stopped taking the ibuprofen. The show was over, and then it came back to normal. But there are also have been people in bodybuilding that are on dialysis. There's some very notable people, actually, from ibuprofen. Same. Like, like yes. that's how they trained. They got through their pain every single day. So I'm a little scared of it, honestly. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> so. I rarely use it. You know, I don't think I ever taken ibuprofen in my life. But there's people that need them, but be aware of them. So that's it, guys. Pretty simple. Not everything is super complicated. Sometimes it's just simple lifestyle uh, changes. And your kidneys, here's the thing. When your kidneys start getting going bad, it's not like your liver. They're not, nothing's regenerating. Your kidneys, if you mess them up, they're messed up. you got to go to the doctor. Yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment below, and we'll get your questions answered. Thank you.